Welcome to the Premier Scene, my name is William McLaughlin. I'm here on day two of the 56 BFI London Film Festival. We're going to go and speak to John Lesher, producer of End of Watch, and star Michael Peña. David Ayer, one of my, personally my favourite directors as a film, film goer. Um, what's it like to work with such a rising talent? Uh, it couldn't be better, you know, when you have someone with such an incredible voice as a, as a writer, but such a point of view as a filmmaker, all you want to do is just love them and help them and be his brother and best friend and try to help him make the movie and that's how we approached this and we made this film uh, really independently and really we had a great financer, financer company exclusive media and they were really supportive of us and it was you know we just got to make the movie exactly the way we wanted to make it. And Jake and Michael, um, how did, did you get them involved? Like, how did they get involved in a project and what was the process there? Yeah, I mean, Jake, um, we, were, we were trying to figure out who was going to be in the film and Jake, Jake's agent manager sent it to him and he, he uh, I, I didn't really, I, I'd met him before, but I didn't really know him that well and he called me and he said, I need to come and see you. And, I, and he came to my office and he was like, I, I'm, I have to play this part and I have to do it. And, I will commit myself to doing it, and I will everything involved in it. I will do, and uh, and he did. And then Mike, we were Mike, we cast, and thank God we did. You know, Mike, we read a million actors with Jake, and because it's all about the chemistry, you want to try to find two guys who could really credibly be best friends. And we read a bunch of actors, and thank God one of them was Michael Pena, because he's so good in the movie, and we're so happy to have him in it. Thanks for coming out in such a horrible night. Um, I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about working with David and uh, what he kind of brings to a film. Yeah, well, I mean, David and Jake, you know, were pretty much attached to it from the very beginning, and they were both, um, you know, David knew he had a good script. It's almost like, uh, almost like when you, you know, do a painting, for instance, and it comes out better than you expected. Um, I, you know, that's that's the the feeling that I got, and, and him and Jake. They were uh, they were very you know committed to this. They said you know how long would you rehearse? And I was like how long do you want me to rehearse? In like four or five months. I was like whoa, and we would shoot for a month. So it was like a tight schedule, and it was almost like we did it like almost like in a play. You know, we actually really did our work, and um, there's not that many times that you're afforded to do character work and study the way that that this is. And you wanted to get the um, the real feeling of a, of a real police officer, not a, not a glossy, uh, but an everyday kind of thing, and and also make it as you know. Uh, as entertaining as possible. I mean, you you get to pick and choose what days you show in a movie, and that's why um, you know that's why I I did this movie because of the script and David Ayer, you know, who wrote Training Days, just got such a such a gift with dialogue, you know. Cool. And um, the the camera work and the way it's shot, very documentary, high energy. How do you feed off that as an actor? Well, it informed the acting. You know what I mean? Because it's almost like YouTube in a way, where you um, there's 50 million hits, and you're like, why is there 50 million hits? And then you're like, oh. You know, like you believe that like you're in there, and it's like, it's it, it's it's a it, it really kind of captivating. So it's like, we kind of had to do it so that it looked like an improvisational style, so it didn't look like acting. Like sometimes it's beautiful to do it classically, and you know, to have wide um, sweeping strokes, you know. But in this one, it was more of a, it, it was more of like an improvisational, realistic approach to it. And was it good fun? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I got to crash a car. I, uh, I got into a fight, you know, in the movie, and it was like, it was brutal. I mean, this guy was like a real gangster, and I was like, and he's like six six foot, and I'm supposed to be, I was like, whatever. I mean, after like the first take, we just went, we just went at it, man. It was fun. Sounds awesome. Have a really good night. Yeah, thanks a lot. Take Let's care. Stay dry.